Welcome to the boys, Dan O'Neill's vlog three, baby. Welcome to vlog number three with Dan. Matt, someone wants you to list a $15 million property. Well, tell them to wait in line, Kim. Okay, what I'm doing right now is way more important than a $15 million property. Fuck yeah, baby. What's up, handsome? What's up, baby? Belfort Village. <laughs> take it over. Full free, I'm stealing your boy. <laughs> We're here I'm trying to take listings. Not <laughs> there goes my whole entire axle. Fuck. Yes, Fuck, <laughs> yeah. I'm a macchiato for dinner. I don't even like coffee. Fuck. It's brought to you by Long Island Pothole. Now it's three. Vlog three. Coming in hot. Dan O'Neill, baby. Vlog number three. Dan O'Neill. Watch it. The Vlog three, baby. F***ing <sighs> sucks, man. This f***ing sucks. Every f***ing tear is coming down my eyes. I haven't cried in fucking six years. Uh, I don't care about the commissions. I don't care about the deals. I don't care about the deal number. I don't care about any of it, man. I just feel so bad for these people. And it sucks because it's out of my control. And that's what really kills me. Is that there's nothing that I could have done differently. There's nothing I can do differently. Like, I just have no answers for them. Uh, I don't care about the deal. I don't care about the commissions. I'm literally... I just feel so bad for these people, man. It's like someone just... Ice picked down my in my my heart. I don't even know what to say. I'm trying to drive here. I'm crying. Dreams don't work unless you do. Heard it here first. Oh no, uh, um, um, Dad. Uh, these guys had an open house, open house on Saturday. Mm hmm. I don't want to get even that far. Again, there is no way we can submit an offer. Oh, No, not tomorrow, but we have showings 9 to 3. Oh, we have showings tomorrow, 9 to 3. Yes, sir. Oh, man, Dan, Dan, Dan. Oh, man. All right. Uh, Don't worry, it's all going to work out. Stay positive. I'm on it. All right, buddy. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, my pleasure. I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Oh, dude, that shit fucking breaks my heart. Oh. Yeah. Can you read that? Because I sure as hell can. That's in like hieroglyphics. Do you know how if you get locked out of like your password, they give you like the words to read? What the fuck? Get out of here. <laughs> what the hell does it say? I. What? He's such an asshole. You was such. Yes. Go on. Go on. Amazing. Go on. Just take a little prayer. Get your money, man. Like right? those. No, I'm hopeful. Yes, I am hopeful. Fuck, where are we? So, right now we are in Hicksville. It's about 7 o'clock at night, haven't eaten anything all day. Uh, we have a big listing appointment in Hicksville right now that we're about to go to. Beautiful, beautiful house. It's going to be probably about a $900,000 house. Um, I haven't eaten anything all day, so I'm going to get a coffee to try and uh, suppress my stomach and how hungry I am. Because if not, I'm going to start fading and it's not good for anybody. How you doing? Can I get a, a small ice caramel macchiato? This is my schedule today. Literally so busy, I have to get a haircut at 10 o'clock at night. Like, I'm normally asleep by then. I have to get a haircut at 10 o'clock tonight. I'm on macchiato for dinner. I don't even like coffee. Fuck! Car still in the shop. Vlog three. This is my new means of transportation. Today, Junior! Long Island potholes. 10, Dan O'Neill, zero. Oh, shit. Damn. Damn, dude. This thing's literally got a mind of its own. <laughs> oh my god, dude. That just got me so dizzy. Welcome to 7 Hunter Place, Hicksville, New York. You see this? This thing's like a...
Ethio Fortress right here. It's door. Let's go take a look. What's hey, up, hey, boys? What's up, man? How are you? What's up, man? How's hey, man. How are you guys? Matt, Angel, Angel. MA developers. Come on in. Let's go take a look. All right, guys, we'll take you through. So, we're in the final touches right now. Take a look around. We have 2,200 square feet. We got a nice fireplace going there. We did reclaimed wood on the back of it. Got some nice lights going. Angel will take you into the kitchen. Yeah, so real quick, just notice the wainscoting that we did. We really wanted to do like a modern farmhouse uh, inspiration for this house. All right, so we have your quartz countertop right here. We did some nice paneling on the side. The house has a really nice blend of grays and it still has the warmth to it. If you look at the backsplash over there, it's all herringbone. We did high-end appliances, KitchenAid. So like Matt was saying, we really wanted to touch on those gray, white tones, but we wanted all these black accents to really make the house pop. I think this is the first property tour that I haven't given myself. I like it. I'm gonna let them run it. Okay, so this is bedroom number one. Wow, look at that light. Yeah, hell yeah, check this out. So we went a little crazy, a little funky, but I think it's gonna work. Every room has its own feel to it. Um, again, we went black hardware throughout. You get a nice double closet here. Fun fact, Matt went to Miami no less than 12 times to find this light picture right here. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I'm a Miami native. <laughs> Guys, excuse the, the minor imperfections. We're gonna be Still done soon. Slowly but surely. We want it done right and have everything to be perfect. So if you take a look in here, Angel tile. Yeah, Angel's actually standing. This is all mosaic tile. Wow. So we go crazy with this. We're obsessed with design and this is where we this is where we shine. We spend hours on this stuff, literally up at three o'clock in the morning sending each other tiles and just making sure we have the right thing. So here's the real wow factor. Come into your master. All right, so we put these uh, modern farm doors in. You have your walk-in closet. Beautiful space for his and hers. So yeah, with the staircase, uh, this was a piece of crap before. We actually went with the smoky gray. <laughs> so again, we're really tying in all the accents, the blacks, the grays, the whites. And with this Cute. right here, this is the brown that actually ties in with this dining room fixture and with the fixture in the mudroom. So again, you get that warm feel with this. So for the basement, again, we went crazy with the tiles. We have a beautiful, beautiful tile finish down there. Whole basement, um, it goes into an extra room that you have for storage. And then you also have storage underneath the basement stairs. Um, and the best part about the basement, I have to say, is that you have a bathroom down there. All right, so we just got the grand tour of this beautiful renovation job that you guys did. They did the whole property tour, so I, I don't have to do anything, which is nice for once. Uh, but now the most important thing is obviously price. So for the first time that we had met, you guys were talking about like 925, 915. Mm -hmm. um, we disagreed a little bit on that, but have you guys given it any thoughts since the last time you were here as to what you might want? Yeah, I think we're still sold on that 925. Okay. Pretty much at 925, that's the number I want. So. I mean, in my opinion, and kind of like what we were talking about last time, obviously I appreciate you guys giving me the opportunity and the, the privilege to sell this. I mean, for your guys' first like real project and flip, you knocked it out of the park. This is, you guys did an amazing job. Thank you. Um, so I appreciate you giving me the opportunity. My take on it is to put the house at $8.99. Um, and the reason being is because by putting it at that number, you now get both sides of the coin. So you get the buyers that are pre-approved from 900 and above, but you also get the buyers that are pre-approved from 850 to 900 and those people will literally go borrow money from their deceased grandparents if they have to buy the house because they're going to see how many people are lined up through the front door they're going to fall in love with the house and by getting both sides of that coin from 850 really to like 950 you're going to get as many people in through the front door as humanly possible and then the house is going to sell itself you know you guys did an absolutely amazing job so my job really is to get people to the front door and i think putting it at 899 is going to get both sides of the coin up with the buyers and then it's just up to me to sell it. So, um, you know, I'm just asking for you guys to put it at 899, trust me. I know this is your first big, big project. There's a lot of money, you know, a lot on the line, but I think by putting it at 899 will give me the best chance to get you guys that 925, uh, 915 number. What do you guys think? It makes a lot of sense. <laughs> so, yeah, so let's, let's go with it. it. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. The first listing ever signed on block three, baby. Let's go.
So real estate being just the most up and down business probably I can think of like every day it's defeat, victory, ups and downs. Um, yesterday was probably one of the worst days I've had in real estate. I had over $2 million worth of real estate just deals die that were under contract, supposed to close. I had a, we had a listing burn to the ground, literally can't even make that up. And uh, we just had a lot of shoddy agents who should not be in this business. Um, just do some really, really sketchy things. And um, it's just, you gotta stay positive, but sometimes it's just so, 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 so tough. Regarding trying to schedule a uh, showing for Sunday, on one of your listings, 15 Wedgwood. I am not showing Nantucket. time. I am not you showing time. Your call at your I am not showing time. Oh my god. Dude, and he texted me too. Like, I'm just not showing time. These, these are all just showing time. There is us. no way that you could have been as bad at hockey as you are at golf. All right, let's go. Oh! You like that, old man? All right, so right now we are on our way. We're actually pulling up to a listing appointment here in Bellport Village. Uh, shout out to our boy who we are meeting, JB Andriasi from Million Dollar Beach House on Netflix. He hooked us up. Uh, we're going on the appointment together. Super excited to meet this handsome guy and uh, hopefully get the listing. What is going on here? You see that You see that trash can in the middle of the road? It's always when you're in, always when you're in a rush, you get stuck behind a bus or someone that just doesn't know how to drive. Uh, yeah, we're just I drove down the block just to go check out some of the houses and the and like the water. Sick views over here. Nice. Really nice. Is, are they nice? Nice. Yeah, it's 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 far for me, but um, yeah, dude, I'm I'm excited to see it. I will be there in about five minutes. All right, cool. So I'll see you. Uh, I'm just gonna park out front and I'll see you. Uh, I'll see you in a few. All right, baby. All right, bye. How do I look? Solid. Do I look as handsome as JB? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, handsome? What's up, baby? <laughs> Belfort Village. Take I it over. The pull free. I'm stealing your boy. <laughs> We're here trying to take listings. <laughs> What's up, guys? Just want to let you know, Mike Pull Free. We're coming for you. Young Guns coming for you. We're in Belfort Village here getting million dollar listings. Where you at, Full? Where you at, Where you at, Mike? Where you at? <laughs> Look, he's got the floors, baby. Let's go. All right, so easily one of the craziest weeks I've ever had in real estate. We had a listing burn to the ground. We had deals die left and right. We also got 10 listings. We put listings out in Queens. We put listings out east. Um, we signed a $6 million listing, which is our new record for the team. So incredibly high highs and incredibly low lows. And what I've learned is A, you can't get ahead of yourself and count any commission check until the house is actually closed. And B, there are some things that are going to be out of your control. So whether it's uh, lender incompetence, agent incompetence, somebody goes out and wrecks their credit. Um, I'm somebody that takes every single deal incredibly personally. I take every deal to heart. You know, when you're talking every single day with these people for two or three months, they become like your family. You know, they're, they're friends. You care about them a lot. And uh, as you saw last night, I had a little bit of a meltdown. I got really upset, but there's nothing more that I'd rather do today than just crawl up in a ball and hide uh, and not answer anybody. But you know, that's not how it works and you gotta keep pushing on. So today we tried to have a little bit of fun. We tried to lighten the mood by bringing out the hoverboard. Luckily I didn't break my neck. And um, you know, if there's any lesson in, in vlog three, it's to keep pushing, stay positive. And uh, my heart breaks for our clients that the house burned down, that the deal died, but you know, you can't just hide. You gotta go out there and, and keep pushing. So vlog three, stay positive, let's keep going.